famous name in Tamil Nadu, a person with magnetic bold voice who voices out without any filters. You talk about astrology, physiology, psychology, food science, ancient medicine, sex education and the list goes on and on. You have a huge fan base through you, your tu- YouTube channel and so many people who are inspired and influenced by your speech, your workout routine, your discoveries and above all, I know you are a good human being who likes to share your knowledge with the world. Your followers all around the world are curious and excited to know who you really are. Welcome to Dr. CK Nandagopal on YouTube channel. I'm your host Susan. Sir, please talk about your journey and your story. I have a big long list of explanation. I don't know whether I'm entitled for all those things. Anyway, you want to know a little about myself. I was born here in Chennai, way back in 1959, on the 1st of February. So, my schooling was in the local area, the local school here. Studied in Tamil medium. We were the last secondary school leaving certificate batch, SSLC between, that was between 1974 and 75. Then gone on to do my pre-university at Vivekananda College in Malapu. Then got interested in the subject of psychology, joined presidency between 76 and 81. And um, did my post-graduation but failed to understand the curriculum. Thought it was not my cup of tea. I was offered an MPhil seat at the Madras University to study further, but uh, I knew I'll be getting into the academic field if I go on to do my PhD later. Then I decided not to teach something which I don't know or something which is designed by somebody else. So I thought there's no more education for me with respect to institutions, so I left gloriously. Then I realized that I have to make some money. I don't want to join any institution to work under somebody because of the importance given to me. I understood the wisdom should be maintained. So I started my own business in trading for one or two years. From there on, I went into manufacturing. I had my own industry. Then my brother finished his education. He was in line with me. He joined me in business. Then in 1987, um, I had a, a mentor. His name was Sambamuthi. Unfortunately, he is no more now. Uh, died last year, January. I pay my respect to him at this juncture. He was the one who influenced me to explore saying that you have power in your shoulder to flow through. Why don't you start exploring our ancient system of knowledge? So there I started a a small research foundation, a self-funded one with my earnings, along with my help of my brother, and started our journey in 1987. Initially, we started uh, collecting uh, Tamil literatures uh, with respect to pathology. And uh, we were running all over the place in Tamil Nadu, trying to put our hands on the old publications, books, materials, so on. We collected huge in the initially in the first two years and then uh, it was too difficult for us to understand that language, even though I was a Tamilian. Then we knew we are lagging behind. <clears throat> so we identified uh, an individual uh, whom I cannot mention his name because I was not I was asked not to do it. So we surrendered ourselves to him to study the language, the intricacy part of Tamil. So we went on. After some time he died, then we identify another person 
when we were studying under him for some time, the, the basic core language. Then after he perished, we went on to another person. Then again, we went on to the fourth person. With four people, we studied the language. It took six long years. By 1992, we were good enough to somewhat understand the lyrics. Not fully. Then we moved on to collect data of existing medicines practiced by people in the society. So we identified nearly 534 families in the Southern Peninsula, went around, collected data, took quite some time. It was going on and on and on. A lot of money was spent, we found it difficult. We never took any funding from anyone because nobody is going to believe us. Everybody thought that what exercise we were doing is all waste. But I had my intention straight. I wanted to keep going. I did it. Then we knew that as we were collecting information, data from the um, families who were practicing ancient medicines, Tamil medicines, Ayurvedic medicines and so on. They were all from generation to generation practicing that. We went on and on and on. And we knew there are too many things are lacking. So we turned ourselves, I turned myself to go towards the tribals. And I established contact with 18 tribal groups over a span of four or five years. Worked along with them, lived along with them in, in, in periods, in, in small pockets, in small number of weeks, days, sometimes months, you know. They are uh, people who have who no belief in any kind of uh, scripts. They don't write, they don't read. They are beyond language. But they, th they speak the language what we know, the Tamil. And then there, uh, this thing was based on experiences. The knowledge passed on from generation to generation to these communities who live away from civilizations. They are, they are deep rooted. Uh, we worked along with them. It was a tough journey. The tough journey went on and on. We were trying to collect maximum information, uh, coordinating with them, working with them, trying to explore many things, their uh, cultural heritage, their practices, their medical practices, their lifestyles and so on. They were tremendously knowledgeable that if you compare uh, uh, a boy or a girl of 20 years of age in the modern society, they are nothing in front of these tribals. They are so potent. They are so knowledgeable. They know how to live the life, the basic survival. They can survive in any conditions. They are too good. You know, one can develop a lot of mental personalities by looking at them, the way they take over their life and whatnot. That went on for some time. Then we identified few people. We are wanting to learn science, the basic medical science, which was predominantly too good in the ancient days. So we went on to study uh, ancient medicines. We studied under six people over a span of time, out of which under one person I studied molecular science for 11 years, for which I have to devote a lot of time, energy, and then the motivation was there, the need was there, the intense interest was there, went on and on and on. We were going through many things. In 1997, I started to make a little bit of medicines with my own hands. Sanjeevi was the first one I made. And I was doing that to understand the the, the, the real lifespan of these drugs, which is so huge. And I was amazed that mercury was used with our Tamil civilization many, 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 many thousands of years ago, which the modern science is still scared of mercury, but they use it here in medicine and that too to the internal medicine, which is far beyond everything. Then, uh, Side by side, we were studying, I was studying the modern science, you know, 
to try to understand uh, what exactly the modern science stands and how the ancients could manage to solve the puzzles like you take dermatology or nephrology or neurology or endocrinology or hematology or oncology or you know nephrology it goes on and on and on uh, up to paraplegia or spinal cord injuries and what not you also keeping in touch with the latest studies of microbiome in the last 30 years quantum biology in the last 30 years recent research papers contract established with many scientific schools around the world trying to explain them many things trying to go through their recent research and whatnot with the stanford medical school outcomes and whatnot so a, a tremendous knowledge was picked up uh, at one point of time i was the only person who can speak the ancient science in the modern terminology so this was my lovely journey over a span of 35 long years so with a request of few people especially actor rajesh i came on to the video channel to share a little bit of whatever i learned to the mass my intention was to explain the health science in the most simple language whereas the any ordinary common man can understand to protect themselves from the existing cruel medical world back to you so soon uh, this is the nutshell of my journey uh, the journey of discovery so i uh, shall catch up with you in the next program bye thank you sir um, now i think all your followers know a little bit more about you better now thank you um, please watch and subscribe to our ck nandagopalan channel thank you